Have you ever wanted to recreate any sound that you have in a VST plugin in just a couple clicks? or maybe create endless variation of that sound? Well, today we're taking a look at Synth Plant 2 and it's supposed to be able to do just that. So my goal is to throw as many different samples as I can to it and see how well it's able to recreate those sounds so you know what you're getting into if you decide to buy the plugin. Quick example, I just loaded a DeepMind, a sample that I have from my DeepMind. So it's an analog synth, just one note, and it sounds like this. And it recreated that sample in a couple of sounds, so let's hear it. It's not perfect, but it's really close. Uh, before we dive in, please click the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. This is SynthPlant 2, and SynthPlant 1 has been around for a very long time. I would say that the big feature of SynthPlant 2 is the GenoPatch features, so the ability to recreate any sound that you throw at it. Even beside that feature, it is a really cool synth. As you can see, when you load it up for the first time, it will look like this, and it's not a typical synth. You don't have an ADSR, you don't have oscillators. So what you can do is let's try to load just a random uh, patch here. So you can listen to the different branches. So right now they sound the same and they're all pitched, but if you drag them out, they will start sounding different. So it's kind of a happy accident type of synth. So if, let's say, I really like this actually. If I like it and I want to recreate another set of uh, seeds out of this, I can just click that button in the middle and it will recreate a patch just with that sound. So I can play on my keyboard and it's pitched accordingly and I can start the process all over again and try to evolve the sound into something else. Like that. And let's say you want to tweak it. Let's say I like that, but I want to tweak it just like a regular synth. Well, it is a fully fledged synth patch with all the different settings that you can tweak. So I can go into the envelope and tweak those into the oscillator or even the effects and the filters. It has a reverb, it has some saturation and some clipping. So it is a fully fledged synth but the way that you get to the sound is really unique and inspiring in my opinion. Now this is already really cool and probably good enough to justify the price point. But as I said, with SynPlan 2, they integrated the Geno patch. So you basically load any sample to it and it will try to recreate it. So let's do that. Let's draw as many sample as possible to it. I have a folder here where I recorded some of my analog synth as well as some sound effects samples as well as some old uh, vinyl snare hits or kick drums, different things. So let's try it out. So let's load this one. I think it's a sound effects. So yeah, it's a low hit. You have a maximum length that it can analyze at once. After loading it, the only thing you have to do is click on generate patches. And it will create a bunch of preset, different types of preset. As you can see, there are four branches. So this is pretty good. So. If I select another branch, as I click on it, it will start creating more. So you can see how crazy this is. I can basically have endless variation. If I don't like a branch, you can always click this button and it will create new ones. So I can basically generate endless variation of that sound. 
So if you're a sound designer, you're working for trailers or stuff like that, and you needed more low hits like this, but you don't have a lot, you just created a bunch of variation of that hit. And let's say I want to create a new branch out of this sound. If I hold Alt and I click on another branch, it will start creating patches according to this. So let's try it out. This is pretty good, honestly. Let's try another uh, sound now. Let's try another sound effects, but it's different. It has more textures. Let's try it out. This is really fun to watch. I feel like this is pretty good. See how easy it is. Let's try another one. Um, another sound effects, but I think this one is a whoosh. Yep. So just a whoosh, kind of a like, kind of like a pass by or something. So let's try to generate it. This is the sample. Wow. So when you watch trailers, sometimes you will hear the same uh, whoosh sound over and over in transitions. This is a really good way to create almost endless variation of that whoosh. I feel like this is pretty close. And the cool thing is, if you want to learn how to design this, if you go into the uh, gene page where you can see all of the envelopes, the LFOs, and what it's doing under the hood, the oscillators, you can take a look at it and see how it recreated that sound. It uses the reverb quite a lot to add a tail and some dimension to the sound. So it's really cool to see that. And let's say I would want to recreate that sound in a more typical synth. I think this is a really good way to learn how to do these. So uh, let's try another sound effect now. It did a really good job with the whoosh, honestly. So a whoosh, but with an impact in the middle. And I think it has a bit of a hard time doing that. Not bad, honestly. It's not as punchy. So yeah, it's not doing a perfect job on this one, but it's pretty close. Let's try something different, a more design sound. So this is a, a weapon sound, a future weapon sound. Let's see how it does. I really like that. It's nowhere near, but I mean, I would probably save that sound and make a sound bank out of the different sound that don't actually sound like the sample, but that are interesting. That's the closest to the sound that we'll get. 
It's not perfect again, but it is pretty fun. <laughs> now let's try, I have a K2 patch. It's um, an analog synth, a Behringer synth that I have, and I recreated the famous sound from Daft Punk. You probably recognize that sound. I recreated it with my analog synth, so let's see how well it will be able to recreate that sound. <laughs> yeah this this is pretty good actually i thought it would have a hard time but it's actually it's not perfect but it's really close uh let's try something else now let's try a kick and this is um a vinyl sampled kick so it's dirty it sounds old school a little bit and i think it has a hard time with emulating the old school final dirty sound so let's try it out So it has it adds noise uh, to recreate the the lo-fi aspect of it. Let's move on. Um, let's try something else. Let's try another kick. Oh, this one is has a different tone to it. It's not perfect, but it's really not that bad. Uh, let's try something else. Um, <laughs> let's try a UI sound. So just that part. Let's see how, how well it does. Funny how it recreates a bunch of UI or chiptune sounds, but it's nowhere close to, to this. Yeah, that's that's not great. Uh, at least I have a bunch of other variations if I need. Yeah, now let's try. I think this is a guitar sound. I, I don't have high expectations for this one, to be honest. <laughs> sounds like a car engine. At least it it matches the 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 pitch pretty well. It's a bit off on the tone though, but it's actually not as bad as I expected. Let's try something else. Let's try, I think this is, it is another analog synth that I have, a Pro 800. And it's an organ uh, type of sound. Let's see how it does. Oh. 
This is pretty good. Wow. It, it even emulated the distortion. As if you had it in a Leslie overdriven or something. different patches some of some of them are clean so it's pretty good wow this is really good though it's doing a really good job at redoing an organ uh let's try brass synth brass sound from my prophet rev 2 so let's test it out already pretty good yep it nailed this one so well, yeah you can recreate analog synth patches pretty well with this let's try I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a complex texture sound effect. Wow. This is really cool. I think this one is not, not too bad. Yeah, that's, that's again, better than I expected. Uh, let's try some snare. Again, these are from records, from vinyls, so they sound old school. Let's see how well we do that. So it's not doing a great job for that type of sound. I have another snare. Let's try the other snare to see if it does better. Huh. Except for the little noise at the end. I think this is not bad. The noise is to emulate the tambourine sound since it's a snare with a tambourine sound on top of it. This is doing an okay job for this one. Let's try an explosion. This is actually cool. So I think it's safe to say that it's not doing a great job specifically at the impact. It's able to emulate the rest of the tone pretty well, but not the impact. You could always take uh, just an impact sound and add it before the sound. But it's actually making some other really cool sound. This is really good. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that it failed at this one, but it created some sound that I would like to record and save into my sound effects library. So that's pretty good. Um, let's try something else. Some claps.
Again, this one lacks attack a little bit. But it nailed the tone. Again, it did a pretty good job. I wasn't expecting much. Let's try. Um, I made a, another patch with the analog synth that I have. Let's see how well it does. Wow. Again, I think it nailed this one. And now I can play chords with it. This is a, a mono synth, by the way, the Behringer Wasp. It's a mono synth, an analog synth. And now I recreated this patch and I can play it polyphonically inside of the SDI. I can tweak all the settings. If you don't see the value of this, uh, it is pretty cool just to create variation at least. Uh, let's try a complex sound effect again. This is a big water impact. Again, nowhere near, but it's fun to see how it tried to recreate it with just a synth. Yeah, I think we ran out of samples. I tried to send it as many different types of sample as possible. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. So make sure to check it out because even without this feature, it is a really fun synth to play with and to get inspiration from or just to get new synth patch that you would have never tried to create yourself. But this feature, being able to throw any sample at it and it will create recreation or variation of that simple it is really really cool it's the only vsti that i know of that can do that so again guys if you like that kind of stuff please click the like button and i'll see you in my next video bye guys